install a video of this uh, of installing the, the, the bars here uh, but I get frustrated really easily and uh, I started too late in the day uh, it, it started getting dark by the time I got done with it so I, I really wasn't able to finish the install before it was dark but I figured I would do a decent review of uh, this particular riser and uh, and bar setup so what we're looking at here is bunking 10 inch risers with their their own uh, top clamp and these are built well tracker mid bars and don't forget when you install these you need to do uh, different clamps you need to replace the clamps here uh, I did drag specialties they're like eight bucks a piece relatively cheap uh, this is a this is a, a cost efficient uh, riser and bar setup I'll throw the, the links to everything down in the description of this video. So this is the, the first day of having them on there. Figured I would, you know, I'm going to go over it, uh, how hard the install was, you know, how the product feels, how it looks, whatnot. So overall, these risers are, I mean, uh, as far as the looks go, they're amazing. Uh, I got the gloss black powder coat option. I mean, they look so shiny. It, it looks like there could be a... A clear coat on them uh, they also come with these little covers for the bolts that kind of like little flush mount covers uh, you've probably seen you know bolt covers before um, I don't know where I put those they uh, bunking sends them and um, I lost them because of uh, because of who I am as a person so but I'll find them and I'll stick them on there overall they're great so they have two little holes here the way you run your wires, you know, your wires come in. The built well bars have a little hole in the middle so you can run your wires out, come down, and then there's holes in the bottom of the uh, of the risers here, and that's where your wires come out. Very easy to wire up. I didn't have to uh, I didn't have to take off any plugs in order to get them into this, but I did have to take off plugs in order to get the plugs out of my old bars. used to them they're, they're, they're a little bit more narrow than my other bars were and a, a maybe an inch or two taller but I, I like my arms to be straight out so this worked out um, the reason I went with the 10 inch riser is because I thought it would give me a good balance in between the gauges and the radio or the, the GPS if you're using GPS uh, I shouldn't have done the 10 inch I think I should have done the 12 inch risers and the built well low the uh, tracker lows um, I think that would have been uh, a bit a better option uh, only problem with this is I did it because I wanted to be able to see my gauges uh, you see there's other brands out there uh, or other t-bars you know, people do well, they'll drill out your little section here and uh, and, and you put your your, your T-bars down there, what that does is it blocks your gauges. The reason I went with the Bone King risers is I wanted to not block my gauges. Well, the 10-inch risers actually blocks <laughs> from 10 mile an hour to 70 mile an hour for me. I can bend down and double check. It's not that big of a deal. I took like uh, the interstate earlier, I was riding around town. Uh, I can see my RPMs up to like 3,500 RPM. I figured I know most of the bike. I can see my what gear I'm in and what RPM I'm in. I, I know my bike well enough to know how fast I'm going. It's not that big of a deal. It's just the whole point was to be able to see my gauges. Uh, Bunking advertises it like that. You don't need to relocate gauges. You're able to see them. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a fan of the look. I think it looks great. I think this setup, which is, you know, with the you know, 10 inch rise on the on the risers and the three inch rise on the bars I'm about 13 inches and I think it's perfect for me I think 14 would have been a little a little tall and 12 might have been a little short I think what I had on my old uh, my old bars were probably 12s um, but they were so wide it pushed my hands out to where the wind hit me on the 
side. I wanted it to be a little bit more narrow. I was riding this morning at uh, it was like 40 degrees with with my summer gloves on, and I couldn't I couldn't hardly feel the wind on my hands. Um, I could feel the wind, but it wasn't like I wasn't getting force-fed wind. And so that was nice. Uh, I feel like uh, this setup's going to be better for winter riding as well. But uh, Biltwell bars are, you know, just like any other Biltwell bars. Uh, you're not going to be able to go onto like JP Cycles and say you want T-bars for a road glide. It, it, it doesn't work. So you kind of have to go off of you know, like Facebook groups or forums or whatnot. I saw someone do this setup on a road glide page I'm in on Facebook and they didn't mention anything about it blocking the gauges so that's why I went ahead and did it probably in hindsight I should have done I should have done the 12s and the 2s and the 2 inch rise bars all in hindsight I'll, I'll get used to it uh, Bung King if you want me to review some uh, some 12 inch rise bars send them to me and I'll do that too but I paid for all of this I let Bung King know that I was going to do a video on it uh, there are I couldn't find any review videos no behind the bar videos of these risers um, so I mean there's people out there who want to see them there's pictures of them but no one riding it or really kind of giving a review about it so I figured it would be a, a good chance to, to leave a nice little review I, I let Bung King know I was going to do a video on it and uh, and he said I said hey, let me know if there's anything you want me to say so the only advice he gives me is the actual gauge cluster if you put the risers, if you bolt the risers in, you will not be able to get the gauge cluster in. So what you got to do is you got to put the risers on with the with the gauges in it, pull, pull back the gauges, and then like hook up all your wiring behind it, and then put the clamp or the the bolts up underneath and and bolt the risers down. Otherwise, you won't be able to get this gauge cluster in. So there's a there's a little uh, a, a little pro tip for you straight from Bung King. They don't mention anything about that on their site. I didn't see any installation instructions, and uh, which is fine. There, it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, they said on the uh, 12, 14, and up risers, you are able to get the gauges in there uh, after you put the risers in. So if you're gonna go with some of these, uh, my recommendation is just go with the 12s. Um, you could do a drag bar to keep at 12. You could do a one inch rise bars, two inch rise to get you wherever you want to be. Um, as far as using wiring, I have heated grips. That was the only wiring that was too short for my motorcycle. Uh, I had to extend it uh, on the left side. The right side was fine. Uh, all the other wiring was fine. I need, I need to turn around. I don't want to be behind this guy too much longer. Find a place to turn around. I will most likely loosen these up and uh, and reroute these. I think I didn't route them very good. Uh, everything fits. I got slack in it. They, they, they seem fine. The bike's acting great. Uh, I was a little bit to get used to the thinner or the, to the more narrow bars, but the more I ride it, the uh, the more comfy it gets, the, the better I can I can feel that it's going to be better handling. Bike lane. I've been wanting to do this kind of setup. Uh, it looks comfortable. It looks modular. You can change it how you want it. Do whatever size, risers, bars, or whatnot. Uh, the Bung King just seemed like a good idea. Uh, if you're on a touring bike, uh, one of the Harleys with the, uh, with the navigation, you could always set up your map. And then I have my, uh, my speed on my navigation so if I'm going to go out for a while and I'm going to be in places I don't know I could always set up my maps right there and I got my speedometer hooked into it so I don't even need it but other than that I'm not really too worried about it I thought it would be nice to give some sort of review on the bars and the risers uh, I don't think any of the footage I had the other day uh, I, I, I'll, I'll throw in a, a clip of me like actually unboxing them uh, the bars and the risers uh, that way you can see you know what it, it looks like coming out the package uh, I have waited to open this up so I can I guess un unbox it on camera uh, so I'm pretty pretty stoked it's, but overall I mean packaging is great it's like a heat trunk to a 
to a piece of uh, a piece of cardboard. It's got their got their logo on it, top clamp as well. It's very uh, very nice, very professional. One thing they don't offer chrome uh, on the website. I wanted to go with chrome. Uh, I know LA Choppers has kind of the same setup in chrome. A little bit more expensive. And I wasn't a huge fan of what the cage fighters look like. So I went with the gloss black because I went with the gloss black because I'm going to do chrome bars and I thought it would kind of just blend in. I think the bars are gonna, you know, be more visible for than the than the risers. But I mean look they look amazing. It's almost like kind of looks like they even have kind of a clear coat on them, how how clean that powder coating is. I don't see anything wrong with the with any of the powder coating thing, they did a good job. I was gonna paint them myself, uh, but I noticed the way you run the, the wires is they come in here and the wires come straight down. And I thought it would be kind of hard to coat in there. Figured powder coating get up in there a little bit easier, but yeah. Oh, it even came. Oh, I didn't know it would come with the, uh... wow. Okay, so that's cool. So the top clamp even comes with the bolts and it comes with little, uh, you know, bolt covers so you don't see them. That's pretty neat. I didn't know that. Good job, Bone King. They were, uh, they were super nice when I emailed them saying, well, I, in my description, I said, uh, I said I was going to do a YouTube video on it and, uh, and you do have any t hints, tips or tricks or whatnot. And, uh, and he you know responded in an email and he said uh you know to put the gauges in before um you put the bars or the risers on he said that will help out with uh you know how they fit because these are tens now they sell these in 10 12 14 16 but yeah i went with the tens i think 10 inch risers and three inch rise bars are gonna give me uh, it would be that sweet spot right in between the gauges and the uh, and my navigation. Pretty cool setup. I think the chrome and black is going to look good. Kind of good balance between them. These are built well tracker mids. They're three inch rise or three and a half inch rise, three and a quarter. Uh, they sell a low, which is like two and a quarter. Packaged very nicely. They were very quick getting it out to me. I think they probably took three, four days between ordering and them actually showing up. So their customer service is great. Bellwell bars, I actually ordered them through the Harley shop. Um, I had a certain amount of money I could spend before uh, I got some free points uh, with the rewards program. So I went ahead and just ordered them. Uh, they were only a hundred bucks from the Harley shop. Easy peasy. Uh, you can order these at the Harley shop. It's just like any other Harley clamp. Uh, so you don't need to order them. I ordered them off of JP Cycles. Uh, and it's very easy. Uh, it, JP Cycles won't say that they fit your bike or your road glide, but they do. Everything is fine and we're, we're sturdy. Everything, uh, we're doing good. It's great. I, I'm, I'm really enjoying this setup right now. Uh, if anybody's wondering, I'm on a 2017 Road Glide Ultra. Uh, I don't see very many Ultras or Limiteds with the T-bars on them. I kind of like being different, but it was really not as much about being different as it was about, about you know, the bike feeling better for me. So all in all, I'm excited to, to get back into riding season. It's January, so it's not, you know, the greatest weather. So installing them the other day in like 40 degree weather wasn't the most fun thing to do. Today is a nice little 53 degree day. All right, I'm sure you're uh, tired of hearing me talk. Let me find this spot and I'll, uh, I'll take some, some beauty shots for you. I think this little, uh, little parking lot will do. Check the mic and make sure it's sound right, boys.
I'm gonna get out of this random little little parking lot. Uh, I'm gonna point out a couple things on this. Uh, I don't. I didn't put this on for some reason. I don't know if it's just bent up. I don't. I don't know. This didn't fit a little bit ago. I'm sure it won't take much to get it to fit. And um, one reason these bars are a perk or these risers are a perk is because you don't have to drill anything on this, on your, your housings at all. You get to keep this little beauty area right here. Uh, if you do like the Krauss relocation, John Maxwell did a video on it a couple of years ago. Uh, you know, Krauss has the risers and they bring the, the gauges up here. Um, it's a lack of beauty area right here. There's a lot of open spots right there. I'm not a big fan of that. I didn't want to relocate my gauges. Uh, Thrash and Supply has a, a decent T-bar setup. It's a little bit more expensive. Uh, if I don't like this setup at some point, I'll end up doing something like that. Uh, I want to keep with the chrome bars and do black risers just because I got a decent amount of chrome on the bike already. So I just want to keep with the theme. I think how shiny these risers are really works with the rest of my black bike, even though my bike has some, uh, has some flake in it. But I'm going to get out of here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. Share it around. Anybody who's interested in this bar setup, like I said, I don't think there's any videos out there on YouTube of this particular riser setup. So I wanted to, uh, I wanted to inform the people. Uh, Bung King's a really cool company. Check them out. Links are in the description. Uh, if you like content like this, if you want to see more of it, uh, hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell notification icon so you get notified when I upload more videos. So, hold on. And until next time, guys, y'all have a good one. Bye.